treated like a star. Wiet, what beauty feels like. Dit is reg liesel na die film Crazy Stupid Love met Steve Carell en Julianne Moore het onlangs in die theaters oopgemaak en vanochtend het ons ons celeb guru saam met ons Kleite Morar en hy bring vir ons een bykie skindernis rondom die film en ook die karakters daar binnen en ook dan so'n bykie plaaslike en internationale skindernis. Maar voor ons wegspring, kom ons gaan kyk eers waar oor die film gaan. 25 years of marriage and you have nothing to say? I'll just say it. I slept with someone. If you, you keep cow, talking, but, I'm going to get out of the car. I think the fact that I did it, it just shows how broken we are. Okay. How much, how much we really... Oh, my God! Cow! This is a guy that's been married for many, many years oh. and has dated, has been involved with this one woman for 30 years. You okay, babe? And a, a major piece of information is about to be given to him about the state of his relationship. Why don't we just say it at the same time? One, two, three. I want a divorce. And it blindsides him because he is completely happy, or so he thinks, and content in this marriage, and loves this woman more than anything else in the world. You're getting a divorce? Yeah. Amy heard you crying in the bathroom. We all thought it was cancer. Oh. Thank God, man. Yeah, that's my relationship. Honey, everyone, it's just a divorce. Oh, Thank you. Hi. Can I buy you a drink? Uh-huh. Let's get out of here. Want to get out of here? Yeah. What are you doing later? <laughs> I don't know. I do. He then meets a younger guy who's a real player. He's a guy who's, who's very much a Lothario, played by Ryan Gosling. And this guy decides to take him under his wing and help him. You any tips of the trade? Your wife cheated on you because you lost sight of who you are as a man. Why you take that straw out of your mouth? It looks like you're sucking on it. <coughs> Okay. Jacob decides this is going to be a project. This is going to be somebody I'm, I'm going to help out, see what I can do with him. You're sitting there with a Supercuts haircut, and you're wearing a 44 when you should be wearing a 42 regular. Credit card. Where are your wallets? Would you sleep in them? Jeez, God! Yeah, probably. You would? You got to take control of your manhood, pal. Can you put on some clothes, please? Oh, I'm sorry. Is this bothering you? Beautiful. Do with me. I want to show you off to my ex-wife and make her really jealous. <laughs> oh, man. You know, so many movies are about how do I meet this person and fall in love with them and get married, and this one sort of starts a time when they get separated and kind of are moving away from each other. But it's fun, you know, it's funny, and it's really, it's, I think it's really sweet, too. It's kind of interesting. A lot of times, you hit it off with a person, in terms of Hannah and Jacob, that it, it's not even really about them individually what's so different about them it's about the chemistry that you create together and i think that they just have some type of chemistry that's kind of unavoidable i think you know they obviously that that scene is probably one of my favorite scenes i've ever gotten to do just because it's such a funny well-written great scene of them kind of falling in love do you find me attractive she does i don't you do she does yes she does i do i don't I met a girl, and she is a game changer. She's your soulmate, right? Go get her back. Wow, how old are you? <laughs> I'm in love with her, and I don't know what to do about it. I don't know when you and I stopped being us. You know, when I told you that I had to work late, I really went to see the new Twilight movie by myself. And it was so bad. <laughs> Dit was die film Crazy Stupid Love met Steve Carell, Julianne Moore. En hier het ons onze leb guru Kleite Morar wat vir ons bykie skinderies bring. Good morning, Kleite. And you well? Good morning, you're now doing today. No, I, I can't complain. Always good on a Wednesday, on a Wednesday today. Yeah. So, Crazy Stupid Love. Tell me a bit about it. It's one of the most anticipated movies of 2011. And I think uh, it's created a lot of buzz, specifically uh, in the US itself. Um, we all know what the plot's about. You know, Steve Carell, he's a funny man. Ryan Gosling, one of Hollywood's most eligible bachelors and Oscar nominees. 
the A team might be now with Kevin Bacon, Julianne Moore, and mm. it's a very, very funny comedy. Um, Ellen DeGeneres even tweeted about it saying it's by far one of the best movies oh, really? she's ever seen. Wow. Um, I've seen it as well. It's, it cost about $50 million uh, to make the movie, and it's literally just under a month out already worldwide, and it's already grossed 70 million. So it's, it's picking nice. up, um, and I think there's quite a bit of fanfare about it. Um, specifically, Emma Stone, she's one of the hotties in the movie to watch, and um, while she was filming this movie, she was also filming another movie called Help. It's coming out later this yeah. year. And she said that because she worked on these two movies together, she's learned that, you know, a woman's got to be confident, and that is the ultimate sex appeal about a girl. Okay. About a girl. Um, in that this movie specifically, she works with two hot guys who prank so much on set. <laughs> Steve Carell, yeah. Ryan Gosling. I think when they were shooting a lot of the bar scenes, yeah. they were spiking each other's drinks, doing oh, a whole no, lot of no, bloopers serious? behind the scenes. And I think you'll see the ensemble cast yeah. um, have a lot of fun, hmm. um, both on and off the movie. And I think they, that shows in the characters as well. Exactly. Ryan specifically has got a lot of press off character and off the screen so far because uh -huh. this week there was a... Um, a video, I think it was, uh, that came out, and uh, he was walking past a normal, you know, civilian time. Two guys that he doesn't know were having a fight in, yeah. in New York City, and he was like, you know, he's known for being a heartthrob, but now he's known for being a peacemaker. Wow! Okay. Stopping up, um, going to them and saying, "Hey guys, calm down. You need to just chill." But someone in the crowd obviously took a, full, a video and a, a clip of this as well. So that's been posting around YouTube. So um, while the movie's out, he's been getting a lot of uh, press and attention okay. for his uh, off-camera and as well. Now he's a hero. He's a hero. So, you know, <laughs> actor, heartthrob, Oscar nominee, now hero and peacemaker added to that bill as well. Oh, I definitely should go watch this movie. Yeah. Now, let's move on to a little bit of a local, local gossip that you have for us. Rugby World Cup's coming out, and I believe there's a pretty uh, a combination of two, two, two uh, local celebs that's making quite waves at the moment. Yes, I mean, everyone's excited for the Rugby World Cup fever, and um, we've spoken previously about Kanye Mbao, and how she's going to be, you know, venturing into the music industry. Now, she's teamed up. Quite an interesting combination, that's I must very admit. Interesting. With Obas from Seven Delon, people, um, people know him for that character. Yeah. His real name is P.F. and Pletson, and they're going to be singing a song called It's Our Game. It's built uh, along the lines of a bit of a disky dance, you know, the whole yeah. disky dance moves, and uh, people are going to enjoy what they have to hear from what I'm, nice. from what I'm gathering. And uh, it's going to be an interesting combination with yeah, the two sure. of them, you know, the two different sort of worlds uh, meet up in the name mm. of rugby and sports. So um, while that's happening, Kenny Kunene, we all know him as, you know, a businessman and the owner of the Zar Nightclub, he's got his own reality show that's premiering in September. And and uh, it's going behind the scenes as to how he runs, you know, his lifestyle, um, his life with the whole okay. sushi, you know, getting all the scantily clad models and, and eating sushi <laughs> off Living them. the high life. Living the high life, all the celebrities and the parties that he's hosting. And it's going to be quite a candid yeah. approach from what I'm gathering. So yeah. um, I'm quite interested to see how that's going to pan out as Lovely. well. And lastly, very, very exciting thing happening in uh, South Africa. The 23rd 007 movie has been filmed here. Yes. Wow. Uh, if you're in Cape Town in the rest of South Africa, expect to see Daniel Craig visiting our shores very soon. The 23rd installment of the Bond film series will be shot in Cape Town. Fantastic. And um, pre-production's already, you know, in full swing. The movie starts filming from November, so expect Daniel Craig, expect Javier Bardem, Ralph Fiennes will be here, nice. and Judy Dench as well. And um, British actress Naomi Harris will be uh, reprising the role of the new Bond girl in the film. Um, it will be directed by American beauty uh, director Sam Mendes, people know him as being as uh, Kate Winslet's, yeah, you know, yeah former husband and quite an exciting stuff I think it's gonna be uh, um, going worldwide from November next year they should be in South Africa for about at least three to six months that's gonna be fantastic. so you may be hobnobbing or running into Daniel Craig hey, who knows? very soon yeah. maybe we'll grab him to get onto Espresso who knows sure thing yeah. <laughs> Clayton thank you so much so this was your speaky skin and these feet of Wednesday ochen so with Clayton Morar but now we're not at least to what I fed the cells with international motivating speaker Robin Wheeler stay with Espresso and SABC 3